Hello and welcome to today's video solution. We will be answering the question which is in front of us, so let's start by giving it a quick read. It says, given that theta is small and is measured in radians, use the small angle approximations to find an approximate value of 1 minus cosine 4 theta all over 2 theta sine 3 theta for 3 marks. So let's first start by highlighting some important information given to us in the question. It says given that theta is small and measured in radians, use a small angle approximations. Okay. The reason why theta is small and measured in radians is important is because these are the conditions needed to use our small angle approximations. So what I want to do first is I want to write out or just quote from the formula book the small angle formula for cosine and sine. So we can start with cosine theta is approximately 1 minus theta squared over 2 and sine theta is approximately theta. Okay, so where do we go from here? Well, if we notice in the question, we have a cosine 4 theta, as indicated by the pointer. So, let's start by solving for cosine 4 theta. So, cosine 4 theta would be approximately 1 minus 4 theta squared, all over 2. Okay, and then this in turn equals 1 minus, well, 4 theta squared gets you 16 theta squared. 16 theta squared divided by 2 gets you 8 theta squared, like that. Now, sine 3 theta, so that is approximately 3 theta, right? So if we just put this all back into our expression, we have 1 minus cosine 4 theta theta over 2 theta sine 3 theta equals, well, what is cosine 4 theta? It is 1 minus 8 theta squared all over 2 theta 3 theta. Because all we've done is substitute sine 3 theta for being 3 theta into this part and we substituted 1 minus 8 theta squared into this part. So we end up moving from cosine 4 theta to 1 minus 8 theta squared and sine 3 theta to 3 theta. That's all good. Now let's just carry out some simple algebra. This equals, uh, sorry, this equals 1 minus 1 plus 8 theta squared over 6 theta squared. 1 minus 1 uh, disappears. So we are left with 8 theta squared over 6 theta squared, which equals 8 over 6, which simplifies to 4 over 3. For this question, you're awarded three marks. The first mark comes from I, uh, attempting to do either cosine 4 theta or sine 3 theta and correctly substituting it into the original equation as we have done here. Your second mark comes from doing both cosine 4 theta and sine 3 theta into your equation and correctly simplifying it or attempting to correctly simplify it. Your final mark, the third one, comes from getting 4 over 3 as your final answer. Thank you very much. I hope this video was easy for you to understand.